For those of you that are just looking for really quick videos to tell you what is upcoming in the, the campaign changes here, I do have Balthazar Gelt. If you haven't read the blog post, he did get a bit of a change. He now is the Colleges of Magic. Most of the Empire people have their own unique mechanics. This is the Colleges of Magic. If you go in here, you can look at the different schools and get them upgraded. And then it, it shows you the, t the two in this one is like the two things that I can do in this. I can do, I can get a gold wizard immediately, uh, shows up in a target region, or I can turn materials, which are these uh, arcane essays, into money. You can also get different equipment, special equipment or cataclysm spells by spending a whole bunch of these arcane essays. So you can get various buffs and the orders all have different things that they can do, right? Grants or Ashes and Dust. You can get a bunch of the Cataclysm spells, which have been changed around through the various orders. So you can you can get more wizards, learn more things, and get a whole bunch of different crazy buffs. And you get those uh, arcane essays mostly through like missions and battles. It's just kind of a post battle reward. See as we go and kick this guy's ass. Boop boop. I got some arcane essays, right? So that's how you get them. Um, you get them through missions and all these things. Now, Gelt also has some different technologies, and the Empire technologies overall got a little bit of a pass-through. Some of them are unchanged, but other ones are, like these Colleges of Magic for Gelt, giving some, some new stuff, teaching the techless and stuff. And then the Supreme Patriarch has his own little thingies. And some of his, uh, his state troops, he can get them with money, and that'll allow him to use the Electric Count units because he's nowhere near the Empire, so he can't exactly get over there and do anything about it. You also get a diplomatic interaction with Zhao Ming when you take your first province in Cafe. So he'll ask you, um, come on. He'll ask you if you want to be a bro, if you want to hate on him, but you'll get a bunch of extra resources, or you can demand supplies from him and get a um, quick head start on your province. The other Empire campaigns got some changes as well, mostly the Electric Count system. Now, Gelt doesn't interact with that too much, so I'll just be brief on it. But instead of getting rewards based on how much the Empire is... Wait. Based on, like, the Electric Counts? I don't even remember the old system, and that's actually kind of the addictive thing. But now the Electric Count system is you get buffs or debuffs depending on how much of the Empire is in human hands, rather than whatever, the Imperial Authority system, which was, like, all those weird mini things, so... Yeah, the Empire campaign should be a little smoother now for everybody, but Gelt's is kind of exciting. I think the only thing that disappoints me, and it isn't even Gelt's fault, is that I love fighting for the actual Empire, so while I want to play around with Gelt and try all these college things, I don't really want to be over in Cafe. It's nothing against this region, it's just when I'm playing the Empire, I kind of want to go fight Greenskins and Vampires and shit, but this makes sense. It's just like, oh, my bias is I'm probably still going to play a bunch of Fronds. Alright, so we talked, uh, we did an Empire one too, I believe that one will be coming out first, but just like, in case you don't read all the blog posts and you just want a super quick what's changed about the Dwarf campaign, there's a couple things, they received a bit of a rework. Um, first, you get these Grudge Settlers now, so you can unlock some of them by doing good on your Grudge Points, and the Grudge Settlers are like, obviously units you can recruit, but they're a little bit like Regiments of Renown, they have some special things about them. Also, the Dwarves now have this kind of, it reminds me of a wah mechanic. But there's 10 turns until the next Age of Reckoning, and it's like how far can you get in your age, and you'll get certain effects. And you'll see the Grudge progress. Grudge is like a, another form of currency that's not money or oath gold. Grudge is like, you get them from fighting certain things. Like, you can see hovering over these cities and, and armies. There's a thing in the way, I can't see that. But if I take this city, I'll get 246 Grudges. So there's that. But like, currently, if the, if the era ends... I'll get minus three growth, uh, sorry, minus three control everywhere, 100% upgrade for grudge settlers. And if I end the era having fulfilled the grudges, everybody's happy, minus 50 upkeep for grudge, get grudge settlers, all this stuff. So, like, it is just kind of like a wah for the dwarves. So, the dwarves kind of borrowed that. Your great book of grudges got changed around a little bit. There's legendary grudges, which get you a ton of settled grudges if you can achieve them and very big buffs. You can do the War of Vengeance, retake the realms. Uh, fight the Skaven, fight the lizard men, and everybody in the south who took care of, uh, who got rid of Carrick Zorn back in the day. So there's a bunch of like very lore thematic. Um, there's a bunch of very lore thematic grudges, and then you get huge buffs if you get them done. You can also get legendary lords, 
by having a ton of settled grudges, they'll just confederate to you. I can't click on that tab because there's some DLC stuff in there I'm not allowed to show you yet, but it's there. So you go over there and it'd be like, I have so many grudges settled and Ungrim Iron Fist has barely any. I can just confederate him because I'm way better at being a dwarf. And then there's the Grudge Settlers page that just lets you take a look at some of the stuff. So Great Book of Grudges is a little bit more fun now. Um, still have the Oath Gold from last time. And then there is one last big change where... Uh, there's like an underway system. How do I access that again? Damn it. Oh, the research got reworked too. There's now two trees entirely. So Oath Gold is much more of a technology thing and then crafting thing. And now grudges are their own, their own deal. Oh, I feel like I'm still being stupid. There's some way to underway, but how do you do it? There it is. There it is. Okay. It's an underway network location. Uh, complete the legendary grudge, grudge, retake the realms to access the underway network here. It's essentially like the sisters. Yeah, now they're showing up. If you zoom out far enough, you can see them. There we go. I was just being dumb. So you can kind of do the sisters of twilight underway stuff but it helps you travel across the world like super fast if you complete some of the legendary grudges. So, Retake the Realms gives you access to a lot of these ones. I don't see any in the super far north. Oh, there's one. But yeah, so you can do some of the legendary grudges to get uh, access points to get around the world a lot faster. That's kind of fun. That's neato. Rawr. Subscribe, yes, yes. <laughs>